I'm not coming with you. So ladies, the sound is turned up. We were ready to roll. And I turned to Donna and said, my notes are on my phone. <laughs> so we've been trying to work out how to actually do the introduction. But fortunately, I messaged Donna. Welcome to Artichoke. Today is all about wearing navy in autumn. We have a navy story every season um, and I'm going to talk about why we do that in a minute. But welcome to the first proper dressing up session of the season. We're still in the shop because the office stroke studio is a tip. Today we've had dog gate. I think if I can just squizzle you round, you'll be able to see <laughs> that we have Angel. Say hello, Angel. She's, okay. oh, she's wagging her tail for you, ladies. I'm just going to squizzle you around again. Um, she um, had... Uh, well, I'll let Donna tell you. Come tell them what happened yesterday, okay. Donna. Um, I'm in work today. I should be at home sitting with Angel and observing her because she had emergency surgery yesterday for a uh, uterine infection. But she's joined us in the shop so I could carry on working and she's just sat behind the counter all day and is now staring at me. But didn't eat the spider you found. But did not eat the spider. Massive spider um, behind the counter today and I've just been waiting for her to eat it all day. Yeah, so if you hear a squeaking, it's Angel wanting to come out from behind her barricade because she's decided she's not quite as ill as she was now. <laughs> so anyway, we've digressed slightly. Welcome to Artichoke. We are a small shop in Swaffham with a fabulous website. Our aim in life is to help you put together an edited, cohesive wardrobe full of items that you love and you will continue to wear year on year. If you're watching this later and you're on YouTube or Instagram or indeed on Facebook and you haven't done so already, push a button to say that you will like us and push another button to make sure that you get regular notifications when we're going live, which at the moment we're doing with our styling videos every Thursday afternoon. For those of you who join us every week, welcome. I can see that a lot of you are flashing up on the phone, but as you know, we don't do this with our specs on, so we can't really see what you're saying. Chat amongst yourselves, push the love button. If you see something that you like, ask us questions because we always check the video afterwards and just tell us what you think of um, this season's Navy story as we go through it. Now on to my lecture. Why do we have an Navy story every season? And it is because Navy is an incredibly versatile colour. Last spring, when we did our How to Wear Navy in the Spring and Summer, we talked about the origins of the word. What I just want to do today is run through why it's such a great colour for so many people to wear. And that is because it can either be a cooler or a warmer tone. It can be darker or lighter. So if I'm running through these ladies, you can think of items that you've got in your wardrobe that are like this. It can be a very, very bright color or it can have more of a muted, smoky feel. And because of this versatili versatility even, it can be worn by absolutely everyone especially as it's softer than black which as we all know and some of us choose to ignore can get difficult as we age it is also considered a neutral ladies this means that it can go with most other colors in fact i'd like you to think of a color if you can that navy can't go with because I'm really, really struggling to. I haven't actually thought of a colour that won't work with navy. It can be worn year long, it can be dressed up, it can be worn casually, and is, a, is it one of your favourites too? Navy? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I didn't wear it for a few years in my 
teens and twenties but now and then yes yeah yes. so for both of us it is one of our personal favorites and actually when we think about it is a key color in our wardrobe so it is something that we both invest in we invest in blazers we invest in navy trousers we invest in jeans and we build our uniform around it now for those of you who are new and are wondering what our uniform is, it's shorthand for a core cool wardrobe. Donna and I are both very, very busy people, not only just at work, but also at home. And we don't really have time to spend hours each morning thinking about what we're going to wear. So we've built a wardrobe around pieces that we love and we've worked out how to put them together so that we always look half decent, um, but we don't have to put too much thought into the process. And our aim at Artichoke is to help you do the same. So our contribution to saving the planet is actually by reducing consumption. Because if you buy with thought and with and, and have careful purchasing rather than just thinking oh well if i don't like it in three weeks time i'll give it to a charity shop you you lose that throwaway attitude because really if you think about it the charity shops shouldn't be full of clothes we should wear clothes until they are threadbare if we love them we do so today we're going to move on to wearing navy this season we've decided to to split it into five categories and i hope we're wearing the same category at the same time we're going to talk about dark blue jeans we're going to have an outfit for going out uh, we're going to have an investment piece we're going to have i've lost I've, this is not on this bit oh how, oh, how to update your eye gauze yes and a dress not necessarily in that order because this was the plan and we have moved on from that so thank you donna okay. for your ipad so jeans ladies if you look in all the magazines if you listen to the stylist the jean color this season regardless of shape forget shape here it is dark blue we always carry a range of dark blue or blue black trousers. So without boring you rigid, guess what I'm wearing today, ladies? My 1975s, they're the jeans I always wear. I've worn them for eight years. I don't possess another pair of jeans. I have quite a straight up and straight down figure. Um, I jokingly say that I'm like a bloke with big tits, but if I say that, you get the idea of the shape I have. They're perfect for me, they're a mid-rise, and the reason we all love them is because of the stretch. Featured three times on the array, we have sold hundreds of pairs of these jeans, if not thousands. Earlier in the year, we introduced the Lieblings, which are a very, very similar feel, but they have a uh, waist and a bottom and a thigh cut into them. So if you have more of a pear shape or more of an hourglass figure, ladies, instead of heading absolutely always for the 1975s, Lieblings might be an option for you to try. We are getting more and more women into them, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. They are becoming a really, really popular jean. So if you want to talk about Lieblings, give us a call 01760 724948 or email sales at uk. 1975s are the ones I'm wearing. They're £69. These are the Angelica Magic Stretch. They are online teamed up with my one size slash neck jumper which we showed you in the uh, new arrivals last week the new colors are online they just don't have photography to match them so you will be able to buy this jumper online it's just it doesn't have a photograph um, to go with it and i'm just going to show you and frighten the natives why I don't wear pink? Because I wear red lipstick. If I wear pink lipstick, my teeth look green. So I'm just going to go back away so you can't see that my lips and my face and my um, jumper are clashing. 
and take off my jumper I didn't put it on this time I'm taking it off because regular viewers will know that I always end up with shirt gate when I put jumpers on I don't know how I do it but I do so underneath I've got our Oxford I don't think you've seen me wearing this you've seen Christine who has the polar opposite shape to me so she has a tiny waist she's very much a pear shape this shirt looks fabulous on her I wanted to show you that it also works on a shape like mine so it is fitted ladies you have to go up a size I'm 14 to 16 up top at the moment and this is a 16 I'm going to come in close to show you that it has contrasting colored buttons on the cuff and on the placket 100% cotton Oxford weave it's a beautiful shirt it's incredibly comfortable to wear giving you a twirl and it has bust darts so it fits you over the boobs I'm going to pull it out so that you can see what it looks like untucked haven't bought my notes with me but from memory this is 59 pounds i'm pretty sure i'm right on that yes it is and the uh, slash neck jumper is uh 46 pounds 50. we have it online in pink dark brown ecru the blue we're calling bluebell and green outfit number one ladies blue black dark jeans are the jean of the season i'm going to grab my jumper and I'm here's donna i'm just going to ask sarah to stand there for a moment if you can just come back and stand next to me for a moment because i'm going to talk about the jeans but before i do oh okay um, color that's so, why i haven't got mine on we're gonna have to hobble up right okay so, so if we both lift our knees right yeah? these mine are five years old Sarah's are brand new so that's your fade in five years it's a fabulous jean yeah. it just doesn't okay. fade so. but we, we I'm wearing shop ones because obviously mine are faded too yeah. right. right off we go okay so I'm wearing the same jeans so these are um, blue black um, so they are a dark navy um, these are the shorter leg, which you've, those of you who are regulars will know we can only get in the spring and the summer. So these are a 27 leg, uh, but they're the same. They're the Angelica 1975 at this time of the year are a 32 leg. The 1913 in the spring and summer are a 27 leg, which I buy, um, in, I prefer a shorter jean. So if I wanted to, I fit in the 1975 and I just have to turn them up. But ladies, if you have um, short legs, if you are, I'm five foot, if you um, get, them in the, get them in the spring. We do have a waiting list if you want to go down on the waiting list for them. Right, so those are the jeans, the same ones as Sarah. Um, and I am wearing with them something I love. I've put on my uh, lumberjack style boots because I knew I was going to be wearing this lumberjack style um, overshirt. So this is called, it's online and it's called the Elephant Cord Over Overshirt. So we love an overshirt because it's um, a cross between a jacket and a, and a shirt. So this one, I'm gonna come up so you can see the elephant cord. Lovely navy. I am in a size 36, which is a 10 and it's plenty big enough for me, so I'm an 8 to 10. Um, the sleeves are okay, roomy on me because I have short arms, but because they're cuffed, that's fine. And I tend to, you know, this is the item that you don't want it fitted, ladies. You want it to be a little bit roomy. You know, wear it like a jacket. So don't be, if you're between two sizes, go for the bigger size, I would. I think this look looks better when it's roomy. I'm sorry about my dog. My dog was behaving really well today until Sarah and I started chatting to her and now she's sitting there crying. Shh, Angel, shh. I'm so, so sorry. Right, so um, this shirt is, let me grab my notes again. Um, it is 59 pounds and it is polyester. So it's polyester, it's by um, Urfo, which are a brand that we've been selling for um, a good few years and I'm just going to whip it off now 
but it's lovely it feels lovely to wear and also look look i like that i like doing that wrapping it. it's cozy it's it's a wrap it round wrap it round you look right i'm wearing it with the um 100 cotton fine knit polo breton or breton polo so this is um we've had this in about three years we tried to get more last year but the delivery didn't arrive due to what's been going on um, but hopefully we hoping that we can get some more so it's our own label 100% um, cotton as I said 59 pounds we have this um, so this is the Breton one and we have it in two ways so have a look but I if you think that you can't wear stripes this is a great you, you can't wear vertical stripes um, sorry no horizontal Horizontal or vertical? Yeah, horizontal. Darling. Horizontal. Um, you, you, you can because, look, they're, they're equal equal stripes. And I always found I can't wear it if there's three colours in. But we, we but a Breton, I love. So there we go. So that's, um, that's your warm autumn look. If I was outside today, I'd be perfectly toasty. Right, Sarah's looking very glam. So this is next is going out. So ladies, I'm going out. This is the piece, I don't know if you remember from your arrivals, that I talked about the items that I get every year that are slightly beyond our price point, but I think sod it, we're having them anyway. Starting with the bag, this is the Arbor handbag. Those of you who follow Annabelle and Grace would have seen Grace wearing one um, in the little email she sent on Wednesday. They are big enough to get your essentials in. So if you have a wedding to go to, or you just want to go to the theatre and just be that little bit smarter, you will get everything in here. If you're like Donna and I and carry a lot of rubbish around with you, they're not ideal as an everyday bag. They're online in this tan colour, a gorgeous uh, pale pink and silver grey. They are £42. We're running short of them, ladies. So if this is on your wish list, grab it now. Just going to pop that to one side. This is the Tudor sleeve and neckline blouse. I'm going to come in so that you can see that it's front fastening. And you can just see the drop it's an off the shoulder with this gorgeous gorgeous feature sleeve it's in the softest poly silk it's very very comfortable to wear it's online and i've put my notes down but i'm guessing it's 99 pounds i'm sure from memory that's right teamed up with the city trousers now I'm between sizes on these ladies, so I can't physically get the next size down, done up, but these are slightly large for me. So if you just turn around to the side, it shows you here that you know I haven't got a bottom to fill them. But if if you're the if you if you're bang on your normal size, these will be a great cut. My white ones um, in the summer that I was wearing looked fab. I just need to either put on a few pounds or lose a few pounds. These are the beige city trousers. They're reduced from 75 to 78 to 55 pounds. Both these items are online and they will take you anywhere, ladies. This is a gorgeous outfit for any event that you might have this autumn. For those of you who wear it tucked out, just going to pull this out and put this here. This top would look great tucked into stonewashed jeans with, with uh, Chelsea boots. Once you've been to your events, you won't put this top in the cupboard. You will be able to dress it down and get an awful lot of wear out of it this season when sleeves are such a feature. So just give you a twizzle with it tucked out. Now you can have a little look at the back. And this is my outfit for going out. Donna is just going to come and she is going to do her outfit for going out. Okay, so um, the only 
you could wear this outfit in the day. My concession to going out is putting on my uh, wicked heels. I call these my shelly shoes. So a um, uh, pair of heels with these jeans and you dress them up. So you can dress the, the, these jeans dress up or dress down. I think because of the colour, but they dress up and dress down for our age range really well. Right, um, I'm just going to do a twirl. So I'm going to let you see the jeans from the back because I didn't before. And the jacket and then I'll tell you all about them. There we go. Let's come up close before I whip the jacket off. Right, so this jacket, oh, I've got the label and the colour. Right, so this jacket is um, uh, navy, £75. Um, it is 75% cotton. And this is um, by, it's the make that we call, It's this one is by Brantex. So I'm just going to show you the sleeve detail because this is what I would do. I would fold up the sleeve the, the uh, cuffs like this but there is a button cuff there we go and then I'll do you a close-up on the buttons and the pocket an open pocket and what's good about the pockets is ladies if you can look the pockets are sitting in a very good place look on me if they were any lower um, they'd be sitting on my boobs which is not good so the pockets are well placed which does make a difference on a jacket. Um, I am in a, I'm gonna whip it off now. So 75 pounds it is online. And I am in, I'm assuming I'm in a 10. I am in a 10. So there we go. And that is my jacket choice. Right, my going out choice is this uh, lovely shirt by Sakana. So Sakana, and this is what I would do, is roll up the sleeves. So Sakana, we uh, found, Sarah found last year and started stocking last year. And so we, and it's become very popular and has become a favourite of mine. Um, Sakana starts at extra small. Um, this shirt is a very, it's like wearing a brushed cotton. Um, so it feels like a brushed cotton. Most ladies, I'm in a small, so I'm not in an extra small in this, because I'm in a small because I found most ladies trying this on in the shop have gone up a size. If you don't, then it does tend to gape. So most ladies have gone up a size and then you can see I haven't got any gaping, but um, that's my recommendation. So it feels lovely to wear. The other thing about it is, is that, especially for somebody like me, if I'm throwing it on in the morning, it um, is gonna look good all day and you can get away with packing it and it not coming up looking a screwed mess. So it's a very easy wear. So did I say how much that is? This one is 69 pounds. So 69 pounds and I'll come close so you can see the colorways in it. So if you look, you can see that it has got the navy, but it's also got a uh, teal. So it's got four, it's got three shades of blue. One, two, three shades of blue and the speck of off-white. So it's gonna go with a lot of things, yeah? Uh, I could easily, just as easily put the denim jacket over this as well. Right, so I have the same jeans, um, dress up, dress down, and then the, um, turn round for the Sulcata shirt, uh, Sakana shirt, because I haven't done that yet. So you can see, it's a very fitted look, yeah, so, but you just want it to not gape on the bust and fit on the shoulders and then it's very fitted um, in the torso. So I think if you've got a bit of a tummy, then it's, remember, it's got that clingy, it's got some elastane in it. So look, can you see the stretch? So it's going to stretch, but remember, if you're ladies who try to hide your tummy, this is not going to do it. It's not going to hide your tummy. Unless you go up two or three sizes. You oh, have yeah. to wear it oversized. You'd have to go yeah, oversized. Yeah. And w in which case then it would, if I did that, it's going to be too big on the yeah. shoulder. Yeah. But it feels lovely to wear. Right. So we're ready. Yeah. Looking, looking glam. Okay. Okay. So now number three, ladies, <laughs> Navy wardrobe updating it for 2021. 
I am wearing our signature dress. It's actually Coastal B, but because I am the person who bungs everything online, everything that's come from the signature house I call signature, which is confusing you more than ever I know. But it means you'll order a signature dress, ladies, and a Coastal B will turn up. However, this season I am gonna change that and I'm gonna split it down into the individual brands within the house. First of all, we're going to talk about my bag. This is the canvas tote. It's online. We talked a lot about this when we did our bags and belts video. If you missed that, ladies, and you're looking for ideas for Christmas or indeed for your own bags and belts, head over to our magazine, which is on the website. And if you have a look through the various articles that we've popped on there, you will find a link to the bags and belts video. So this is the canvas tote. We've got it in this gorgeous brick red color and also in a gray green. It's online and I've forgotten what we've called it, but look for canvas tote anyway. And um, it's uh, 24 quid. Oodles of room, ladies. There's a zip. So that and there's an internal zip pocket so this will be great for the beach but actually in the autumn when you're out and about shopping of course nobody has any uh, bags anymore so this is a great tote to take shopping i'm just going to pop it to one side and i'm just you're not going to leave this ladies but i'm fiddling with the lighting yet again because it's flashing so much right i think we might have worked out we have to face the lights the opposite way to the way we've been doing it oh no god it's working again right on to the navy cotton ja jacket which actually is from brandtex but it's online as if it is from signature Donna's talked about that because she was wearing it in her outfit before. Just going to show you, I'm in a 14, ladies. I would say that they're true to size, if not slightly generous. I so I can get pockets, this done up. Actually. Okay, so she mentioned that the uh, breast pockets, which are here, so it's a good pocket detailing, but there are also pockets in the side so that you can get your hands into them. If I were to buy this, I probably would um, go for the 12 because I belong to that percentage of women that just get, thing, get their jackets done up to here. They don't necessarily want to be able to do it up. But I'm showing you, ladies, that a size 14, big 14, these will actually fasten up. I don't know if Donna showed you the little studs. It is a true Western style jacket. It's great. It's incredibly versatile. It's great for this time of the year, but we'll go through into the summer. And um, actually, you'll be able to wear it all winter as well with uh, my investment piece over it, which is, comes further along in this video. Next up is the striped dress from Signature. Um, gorgeous dress. It's, it's, it's a jersey of type, it's a sort of poly jersey, so it feels really soft, but it's, it's not quite as stretchy, it's firmer than a proper jersey. It's got a little um, notch in the neckline, which again is very flattering if you're big chested. I don't think that, although it's striped, it's making me look bigger. I think it's a very, very, very comfortable dress to wear. In fact, this will be coming into my wardrobe this week. We're beginning to pull things for our own personal wardrobe. So what I'm adding to my autumn or to my navy wardrobe this autumn, this dress will be part of it because I can wear this now. I can wear it in the depths of winter. I can wear it on cooler days in the summer with flip-flops. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. It is £59. I'm going to squizzle to the side so that you can see the split. So it's got a little shirt tail at the bottom and at five foot six it is just to my knee so it's a good length as well and then of course you've got the little notch detailing here give you a twirl then i'm going to grab my bits because donna's ready with her dress okay so my dress of choice is one you've seen me in before and I'll just talk about the jacket first and how I've styled it. So I've gone for the um, 
uh, the denim, uh, faded denim jacket, which is £75, but I'm going to talk about this in more detail next outfit. And I've put the dress on with my, these are my own um, Western style boots, but I'll just show you that we have Western style boots in a pale sort of champagne colour. Um, these, these boots are online at the moment and these are £59 so it's a camel so they're called a camel online £59 they start out at a 36 but I think they're roomy so I think it's a fairly roomy 36 but if you're looking for a western style boot can you see it's a very um, it's a suede effect very soft suede effect and a pale camel colour. Right, so I'm in model zone, chose to wear this dress um, with this um, dress down western look, but I'm going to put some shoes on to show you how to um, change the dress. I hope you can wear this dress for different occasions. So let me just whip my jacket off and show you the dress properly. So this is K Design, oh, the sleeve, long sleeve, as you can see, I'm five foot and those are a perfect um, length sleeve for me. But what I would do is that, because I prefer a three quarter sleeve. So I would do that. Right, the dress is by K Design. It is 90 pounds and I am in an extra small. So I'm a size eight and I'm in an extra small in K, which I always wear extra small in K Design dresses. Right, um, the, it feels like I'm wearing a brushed cotton. So it feels like brushed cotton. It does have a lining. So look, it has a lining. So the lining is, I think I'm right in saying, yes, 100% polyester. So the lining is 100% polyester and the dress is mainly polyester, but it has a touch of um, elastane in it. So can you see? Can you see that it's got some give in it? So it's a, which means that it's a very comfy dress to wear and it means, again, no ironing and you can throw it up, throw it in a bag to pack if you're going to an event and it will come out looking like this. Right, so with the boots, that's how I would wear it. I, I, I like it with the boots. But if I show you, if I just whip on, I'll just put one of them on. So you're not waiting for me. So if I just put a... Um, decent heel on to show you how you can dress it up for I don't know a, a, an event at the office a work event a party where do people go where do people go nowadays yeah a party I think people will be still having, we're having a bit of a do next week bit of we? a do next week yeah so it dresses up really well and what I particularly like about it is the I, I like this neckline I like this um Sort of a what you, placket neck, isn't it? And the shoes are pulling the red out of the dress, aren't they? They are. Well, yeah. I like a, I like a red shoe, ladies. Yeah. I'll put a red shoe with anything. I'd even put a red shoe with pink. Oh my God, no! I would, I would. Um, I'm just going to turn round and show you the back. And um, notice it does have these little belt loops because it has a belt that comes with it that's the same colour as the cuff. But I've decided I prefer it without the belt. But um, I think everybody has. Everybody who's tried it on loves has, it without yeah. the belt. Yeah. So with boots, love it. With heels, love it. Um, versatile. But remember, when you have a dress, you'll come in looking for a dress for an event, but you can change that dress and um, wear it in a different way. If I put if I put a jumper over this dress, it would look it would look like a great skirt. So a jumper over this, I'd get the great collar and then I'd have a skirt. That's a really good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah. jumper over this. Yeah. I am. In, let me just grab. Will this one go? I haven't tried this, ladies. But look, this uh, navy jumper. Yeah. It's a different colour navy, but I think it works. But yeah, you could, you could throw... I'd probably put the fine knit navy. Yeah, um, the fine knit, the navy fine knit navy. one with the buttons yeah, on it. Yeah, it'd be lovely. Yeah. Right, Sarah, ready? Okay. Oh yeah. my God, that's my favourite outfit. Is it? Favourite okay, outfit. this is Donna's favourite outfit for me today. So this is outfit number four, how to update your eyegores. Now, in the winter, we don't, we don't really buy lots of different navy 
styles of navy trouser. Um, we tend to buy lots of different styles in brown and in black and in green, all the autumnal colours. But obviously, for those of you who are married to your navy eagles, you want to be able to wear them year round. And so this is my idea of how to update them and actually wore, wearing this uh, striped jersey jacket from Erfo with the collar as a mandarin collar it really is an outfit that could take you anywhere it's soft and easy to wear we have called this jacket the cardi that thinks it's a jacket because it's very very smart but it's also very very soft and i'm just going to undo it i can't undo it completely because i haven't got anything else underneath and i don't want to frighten the navy tips but can you see that you actually undo the mandarin collar and it becomes single breasted so i could have a little navy tee under here and if i thought about it instead of putting my cap sleeve signature navy tee away this morning for um, until next spring i could have bought it in with me so this is a very versatile jacket it's a very light jacket it is cardigan weight so it will give you that extra layer of warmth but actually you look very smart wearing it. Um, it's one of our bargains we've got from Erfo. It's online at 75 pounds, but I think uh, current season this was uh, about 134 pounds. I'm going to come in close so that you can see the button detail. Do up my mandarin collar again. And then we have a couple of pockets here. I think they are, are they faux pockets? No, these are faux pockets. So it's just a decoration. And then if I give you a twirl at the back, it's got little soft um, shoulder pads in it, which I haven't got on properly. I just pop that over my shoulder. And that's great as well, because Donna and I don't have big shoulders. And those of you who are a Trini fan will see that she spends a lot of time because she doesn't have big shoulders either. Let me get that one sorted out with um, a t-shirt that she got from Zara that has shoulder pads sewn into it just to balance out your body a bit. This jacket has them in already. Uh, one of my favourite outfits, um, I'm a bit torn actually because I love that Tudor shaped, um, the Tudor shaped blouse. But ladies, as we're getting to the end of this video, why don't you let us know which your favourite outfit is? It would be great if we could, at the end of it, um, decide which one you'll be buying this season or which one you preferred to see us wearing. I think Donna's ready for her next outfit. Okay, so this is me. Sorry, I left my shoes from last time. Uh, updating my navy eagles. So, uh, two different looks. Um, again, putting red with navy. So, my boot that I wear a lot in the winter and then the heel. So it's to show you, ladies, that these eagles look equally well um, with, in any of the black or the navy, go well with an ankle boot or they go well with a heel. Um, excuse me, I haven't done my shoes up. Right, so this is a better look for somebody my height. Um, the navy jumper um, and, the, uh, and the same colour all the way down. So this is, because I'm five foot, this is, this is good. I'm not breaking myself up. So this is a good look that I'm all in one colour. However, so I've done that to show you, what I like to do is break the rules. I haven't tucked this shirt in properly because I didn't want to crease it before I showed you. I like to break the rules and I like to have a little bit of the shirt just tucking out, sticking out like that. So you get a flash of the colour at the collar cuffs and, um, and the bottom. So that's how I like to, to wear it. So I'm going to talk about the jumper first. It's the... Um, Button sleeve, uh, button detail on the sleeve, um, crew neck jumper. It is forty pounds, and I'm going to take it off to show you the shirt, which is a favourite. Right, so I'm going to whip that off. Before I talk to you about the shirt, let me just say that I was really torn about whether to pop the, ja the denim jacket on with this or the jumper, 
so I decided to show you both. So, versatile denim jacket. The denim jacket, when we're talking later, the next outfit is um, investment piece. And, you know, I could wear a denim jacket with every single thing that I wear. So a denim jacket is certainly an investment piece. Well, it is for me. But, uh, so this is the um, faded denim jacket. It is online at £75. It's very soft. It does have pockets, although I haven't opened mine up yet. This is um, my jacket, but I haven't opened them up. Um, and it... It's just a really lovely colour. I'm just going to turn around so you can see it. There we go. Goes very nicely with the eyegores. So, but can you imagine these eyegores? That's with a, a, a casual jacket. But if um, you want to dress them up, imagine these trousers these trousers with a navy blazer if you need to smarten them up. So if you're in the office, ladies, you can have navy eyegores and a smart shirt and a lovely blazer and then if you're going for drinks after work you can just throw on your denim jacket in place of your blazer and you've um, got a completely different outfit right so down to back to the shirt so the shirt is one of our newer shirts it's the one that we have called that i call Tallulah after my daughter uh, so this is Tallulah poppy the color so the shape of the shirt the shape is the Tallulah shape. It's a very fitted shirt and the colour is the poppy. Let's go, come up so you can see the pattern. And it buttons up to the neck. And I'll show you the cuffs, which I have turned over. So there's that. I love the fact that the cuffs are a little bit rounded there. I know it's a very, very subtle effect. But it, I, I think, look, it's a little detail that I think makes a difference. So I like that look. Right, and this shirt can be, is equally nice untucked with the back of it. Or you can tuck it in. Let me tuck it in. Let me get the price of it first. Um, so the poppy shirt is £65. And you can tuck it in. So the eye gores, ladies, for those of you who have not seen before. Oh, I've got them turned up. There we go. The eye gores are um, pull-up trousers, elasticated. They, um, you go down the size. If you're buying these trousers for the first time, or the Inas, they're made by Stamen. It's not just our recommendations. It's the manufacturer's recommendations that if you're buying eye gores or Inas, um, Ina 740 or Igor 680, you go down a size. Um, it's, it's the fabric and they, they do, they'll be more fitted. And uh, you, you, can, you can wear two sizes depending on the look that you want, but ideally um, everybody needs to go down a size. Right, so they are, did Sarah say how much they were? 58. They are 58 pounds. And can I just say, I'm going to take this because I, I, I'm always telling people on the phone and we do try to remember to put a little care instruction um, leaflet or little card in with the online orders. You must not put these in the tumble dryer. You must not iron them. You don't need to iron them, but if you have to iron them, then you must do it with a tea towel or get one of those special iron covers and use a cool iron. But really, in an ideal world, you should avoid the iron. Avoid the iron, never hot wash them, a cool wash, 30, wash 40 at the most, and never put them near a tumble dryer. And the reason being is there's a high content of elastic. And as you know, anything that has elastic in it will um, last longer if you keep it away from heat but um, heat will actually damage it so it will damage it so they're trousers that you can dress up or dress down we have some ladies that do yoga in them some ladies that use them for golf um, they're great for traveling they expand with you so if you are um, having a bit of a bloated day you will still be comfortable um, right, and I think I've covered all. So £58, denim jacket £75, poppy shirt, Tallulah poppy is um, £65. There we go. Ready? Thank you.
Thank you. So, ladies, I am just going to twizzle the light the other way. Donna has found somebody who's going to come and give us light advice. The sooner, the better. Oh, my God, I've made it even worse. I think it's me, Donna. You don't light it up like a, like a firework. Right, back. And it's still lit up. I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to ignore the terrible lighting, just crack on. I'm talking about my investment piece. This is outfit number five. You are looking at my investment piece. I don't wear a winter coat. I possess them, but I very, very rarely wear them. What I do is I have my gilets over my jackets. So the fact that full length uh, sleeveless coats are on trend this season is an absolute boon. For me, this one is coming offline and it is coming home with me tonight. It's from Erfo. It's £135, so it is an investment. But um, although these aren't my own clothes, I have something very, very similar in my own wardrobe. So what I'm trying to do is show you ladies how this garment is going to work with so many items that I have already. So cost per wear is going to be minimal because it will last me for a long time as well it's in a very classic navy so that it's timeless it's a classic duvet coat shape so it is timeless it is as light as a feather but it's made from polyester so there are no feathers in it no ducks were harmed in the manufacture of this coat it is generous so i am wearing a 12 absolutely everybody has bought this coat has gone down a size we no longer have size 14s available at the moment we've got one person who's going to try a last 14 on but at the moment it's reserved for her so this is my investment piece ladies and what i'm doing is i'm wearing it with my stonewashed jeans you will see me in these rain shine summer or winter um i have and got a navy jacket at home but i do have at home uh, a denim jacket that's a very dark denim one you've probably seen it before i got it from levi when my daughter was 17 she's now 24 um she's almost 25 so it doesn't owe me anything um, I also have a navy Baralocci uh, blazer that I will wear all winter and then when we are in the depths of winter and I'm wearing my black leather jacket or I've got a lovely uh, velvet tux from Baralocci I will put this over the top because navy works brilliantly with black and even I after a lot of therapy are managing to do that now underneath this jacket is another top from Sukarna you saw this on the reveal last week of all the items that you've seen ladies uh, everything is online apart from the two Sukarna tops so that's the one I'm wearing now and it is the um, shirt that Donna's wearing and also the K design navy dress that um, Donna was wearing is not online. I'm just going to chuck that, um, oh, all my garments are falling off their stool now. So this is a lovely soft jersey, it's quite short, it's got the cuffs that you can turn back if you don't have very long arms and obviously this is not a great shape for my neckline but if I had any intelligence whatsoever what I would have done is I would have got a necklace with the V so that it breaks it so that I can wear it so you can basically wear any neckline you just need to zhuzh it round a bit to make it wearable but the whole point of this was showing you how it looks underneath the jacket and normally I would have something here creating the V but there are too many boxes to jump over oh Donna's going into the kitchen just checking my dog's still alive checking the dog's still alive I thought she's going to get me a necklace <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no such luck so ladies imagine this has got a V necklace tucked in looks fab gorgeous outfit I think I told you it's 59 pounds Vote on my outfits now, ladies. Which was your favourite outfit of the ones that I'm wearing? And Donna's going to come on for her final outfit. 
Okay, I'm wearing a jumper that I wasn't originally going to wear because my other jumper I threw over there <laughs> and I couldn't walk across the camera. <laughs> but actually, um, it is it is an investment piece. So I had to choose investment pieces. So an Do investment piece. You want your piece, ultimate accessory because she's coming to she show you. She is my ultimate accessory. <laughs> um, my so an investment piece. I'm going to show you um, this, which I was supposed to be wearing. I will wear I would wear that so many times and that's what an investment piece is. I will wear and wear and wear this. It will be my uniform, but I'll wear it in all different ways and I'll wear it um with a, a scarf one day. I'll wear it with a Fenella stand up collar another day. I'll wear it with um over this um with over this shirt that is the next piece that I'm going to show you. I will wear it um, over a brightly coloured shirt. I mean, I, there's no end. I will, I will wear it underneath things, you know, under, underneath the gilet, underneath the heavy knit gilets. So that's what an investment piece is about. So these, these, this jumper is um, online. Do you remember I showed you? It's the sleeve detail, forty pounds. And it's forty pounds. So an investment piece it doesn't necessarily mean something you're breaking the no, bank with. No, it's just something it? that you're going to wear and wear and wear, and it's something that's going to be part of your, you know, a, a good capsule wardrobe, yeah. so that um, you throw it in. Right. So this is something I've not thought about doing before, which I, I've just done for the first time to show you how to change things around. So I showed you last week about um, turning these. This, sleeves of these jumpers these are the slash this is the slash neck jumper one size fits all um gives you a different look though obviously and i i like to shorten the sleeves but i could just as easily uh, roll down the sleeves and have them as the long casual look it's big oversized slouchy jumper so i put it over my favorite shirt um such a favorite shirt that i decided it this was my investment piece for this um this winter so so there and uh, the, a few people have been asking what to do with these well you can do whatever you want so there I did the tie look and tied to one side personally I like it you could you could wear it as a tie like this but I like it open um, right and this is my chosen investment piece so much so that it did come home with me because I know I can wear and wear and wear this with so many things I could wear it with the eyegore trousers, smarten it up with heels. It has a variety of colours in it. I can wear it with the jeans. I can wear, I would wear this with black. So I'll wear it with my black jeans, my black eyegores. I would wear, I'm going to be wearing this with a lot of things. So I know it's an investment piece because I'm going to get the wear out of it. Would you take it into the summer too? Um, definitely the spring. I yeah. definitely, because I have, I have this, um, K design shirt in a sleeveless version which I lived in was part of my uniform this summer and it's not the material some people pick it up and think that the material is going to be um, hot and sweaty mm. it isn't no, at not. all it's not at all no. is it you know it's really it's a material it's really easy to wear um, and that said so it's 65 pounds um, it is, I didn't, it's the one one, one that I decided at the last minute, so I didn't write the mix there. I think it's polyester, 95% poly, 5% elastane, or yes. spandex. Uh, I can't see it there. Oh, there it is, there yeah. it is. That's exactly what it is. I've yeah. been putting them online. So, so it's got, <laughs> you can't remember, so it's got spandex in it. Yeah, so it's going to go across seasons, and I'm going to wear it with so many different things, and so many different colours. So you'll be seeing me wearing this a lot. So this is my investment piece for this season. And here's your ultimate accessory. And this is my other accessory. There you are. There here's we go. Angel. There is my other accessory. You'll see. She does walk. <laughs> I promise you she walks, but not when she's got a rather large scar. Yeah. And also, she you can tell this one isn't an only dog because she was completely ignoring her chew, wasn't she? Yeah until another dog came in and then she woofed it down. We're very dog friendly in, in the shop. So we had a lovely Ridgeback, oh, a beautiful Ridgeback come in today, who, um, and Angel had this long chew to keep her busy, which she was ignoring. And as soon as she spotted the Ridgeback, the chew was gone in five minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, so if you do have dogs, the only rule we have is they're not allowed to pee anywhere. <laughs> but if you're very confident that your dog won't pee and it will behave itself so that it doesn't frighten people that are not so keen on dogs, please bring your dog shopping because the whole of Swatham is dog friendly. Mm. Uh, there are very, very, very few places where they are not welcome. So that brings us to the end of today. How to wear your navy wardrobe in autumn 2021. I hope you've enjoyed it, ladies. Uh, next week is our grand opening. So it's going to start on Monday with a Facebook Live silent auction. So this is for all the ladies who... Uh, shop with us online want to get involved in the opening but you're too far away we're going to have a silent auction that starts on the monday and then we're going to carry it over till the friday till um the end of our grand opening if you can join so this is going to be monday at 4 30 because it's a silent auction, you don't have to have a nervous breakdown about watching it live. You can place your bid at any time. There are going to be reserves, ladies. On Thursday, we have our drinks party, drinks at five. Just, just mention that it's for charity. The silent oh, auction. this is the whole thing. Uh, the whole point of this, this bit of a do is actually to raise money for the Merle Body Centre, which is a local dementia daycare centre. So the silent auction, all the proceeds are going to that, as is the bucket raffle. Anything that you buy online with us, ladies, next Thursday or next Friday, 5% will go to the Merle Body. If you come into the shop on those two days, we will be giving 10% of what we sell to the Merle Body. Come to the shop for drinks on a Thursday evening. If you can get into Swaffham on Friday afternoon and want to have a free facial and skincare, our skincare advice session with Michaela Franklin from Temple Spa, we have slots available at one o'clock and three o'clock. So you need to telephone us, message or comment and we will book you in. Remember to let us have your phone number. Ladies, thank you for watching. Have a fabulous weekend and join us next week for our big fundraising event. Thank you. See you on Monday.